it's lazy and today we are going to talk about the wishmaker trailer that we just got honestly we need to talk about theories spoilers all that stuff let's just get started okay we start out by seeing adrian coming up to this place i'm not really sure where this is yeah but th that's not that important we see Marinette and Luca sharing ice cream. Oh my goodness. But I personally don't think that Luca and is back together. This ice cream does not represent Luca at all. There's no blue. There's no Luca symbolism. It actually looks more like the love square. We have green, red, and pink. Red and pink, Marinette and Ladybug, and green could represent Adrian. And actually, there's little black chocolate chips on the top of the ice cream. So that's maybe representing Cat Noir. And does this mean we're closer to the love square happening? I hope so. But honestly, I hope they don't get back together. Let me explain. In truth, we saw them break up, and then all of a sudden, they're just gonna get back together. That would be horrible for the storyline. And it would kind of mess up the flow of the season, the direction that it's going. And and it was revealed in truth that Marinette does love Adrian. It would not be good for Luca to date Marinette when she has stronger feelings for Adrian. Now we see the Mundo Gloop spoiler we got in the past. Luca and Marinette looking at each other. Actually, we see Luca point over to Adrian. Oh my goodness, guys. He looks so sad. He looks so sad. Obviously, we see Marinette and Luca holding hands, which I've heard people say, oh, what if Adrian is acting this way because he's jealous of Marinette being with Luca? But honestly, guys, I don't think so. This is episode 18 the episode right after rocketeer and i think it makes a lot of sense for adrian to still have all these emotions that he's carrying up from the last episode because we know he's having doubts he's very hurt by ladybug i think it just makes sense for this to continue on to the next episode and also what if this scene is luca bringing marinette and adrian together because like i said i don't think luca and I getting back together would be good for the plot so maybe luca is kind of doing what kagami did in mr pigeon 72 mr pigeon 72 to Kagami, let Adrian go, and let Marinette have him. What if that's kind of similar to what's happening in this episode? Maybe Luca is bringing Marinette and Adrian together, letting Marinette go. Not sure, but we will see. Okay, Luca playing his violin, cool musician dude here, and then we see Marinette and Adrian sitting next to each other, and they exchange a look at each other, very sweet look at each other, and I wonder if this is Luca almost serenading Adrian and Marinette. What if it's Luca's way of trying to get Adrian to realize his feelings for Marinette through music. Okay, next we see Marinette, Luca, Adrian running together. Oh my goodness, what? This scene is so cool. I actually love this so much. Anyway, we see then Alec get akumatized into Wishmaker and in which his outfit is really cool, actually. Let me just say that. The next big scene we see is Kadawar being hit by Wishmaker's power. Now, look at him. He looks very upset, almost defeated. And again, like I talked about earlier, this could be those rock Rocketeer emotions coming into play. I'm wondering if he's just given up. And we see then Hawk Moth being very excited. He's probably like, oh, we got Cat Noir. But then Psych Viperion comes in, goes back in time, and saves Cat Noir. And you know, again, with this like slouch, defeated posture, Cat Noir looks very upset. Also, I wonder if before Luca goes back in time, we're going to see one of Adrian's childhood dreams become a nightmare. Anyway, that's all for the trailer. But to continue, we actually got. A Instagram live from Ezra, the voice director of Miraculous, and the voice actor of Alec. And I'm just gonna play the clip for you guys. Dre, is Marishat a thing? Let me tell you what a thing is. I'm gonna tell let me just tell you what the thing is. Let me just tell you. If you uh, love all these different ships, don't miss this weekend. Don't no. miss this weekend's episode. So Okay, first of all, I really want to see Marishat or some other love square ship. I'm having a hard time with this because where are they going to fit this into the episode's timeline? Like, how would Marishat fit into this? And I honestly don't think Lady Noir is going to be on good terms. So, I don't know, guys. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and lazy out.